Am I the asshole? For yelling at a kid for crawling under my table at a restaurant? My friend Jack and I after a long stressful week like to go to the local pizza place. It's not fine dining by any stretch of the imagination but there are booths and tables of people sitting down. I see a large table near us of like 10 people a few couples and bunch of small kids between like 4 and 8, and the kids are running around the restaurant being loud while the adults are drinking wine and eating their pizza. I ignore the commotion for like 20 minutes when suddenly, I feel like a hand on my leg and one of the little kids is crawling under Jack and my table, I wasn't thinking and snapped at the kid, and said get away from our table and the kid ran away and burst into tears. One of the parents at the other table came over and started tearing into me about how cranky and mean I was and how dare I yell at her kid, who was just playing meanwhile her and the other middle-aged 40-something parents are letting their kids run amok and be loud and obnoxious while my friend and I are trying to enjoy a night out. I ripped her a new one and said how entitled do you need to be to think it's okay to let your kids just crawl under other people's tables? She called me an asshole and walked away in a huff. Not the asshole. You are not a jungle gym, and your table is not a play place. Look at my username, now, I am going to say you are not the asshole. People should not let their kids be crawling around on the floor under their own table, nonetheless someone else's. Not the asshole. People who don't scold their kids shouldn't be surprised when their kids get scolded by strangers, especially if they are just letting their kids go around and invade people's personal space. You didn't do anything wrong and the mom and all the rest of those parents are all major ras. Not the asshole. Her exhaustion boundaries parental philosophy create no obligations for you. Your personal space was invaded, you reacted to repair that. On behalf of all restaurant workers everywhere, thank you for yelling at the mum. It's been years since I worked in a restaurant, but the rage from watching people let their kids run around unsupervised never really goes away. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Someone's gotta teach the kid they can't do whatever the fuck they want, and it apparently won't be their parents. Invading a stranger's personal space and touching them is a big enough deal to warrant being told off immediately and harshly. Not the asshole. I would yell loudly, whose kid is this because it's not mine people need to watch their damn kids when they take them out in public. I mean, that's a kidnapping waiting to happen right there. Not the asshole you are a stranger to that kid. The kid should not have been going under random tables and the parents obviously weren't watching the child. He also could have been hurt under your table. Not the asshole if you don't want strangers shouting at your kids, don't let them climb under strangers tables. These parents baffle me. It only takes one creep to decide to leave the restaurant with your kid, or someone to accidentally kick them and cause them injury. I like kids so much I made my own. But that doesn't mean I want someone else's, or even mine for that matter, climbing about under the table whilst him trying to eat. Not the asshole her child is not entitled to invade your personal space and physically touch your person any more than you would be entitled to do the same. She needs to get a grip. She didn't want her kid yelled at she should have been parenting her own child. Not the asshole. If she has opinions on how strangers are allowed to interact with her kids, she shouldn't have allowed her kids to run around and interact with strangers. Not the asshole, as a former server, I hate these families. They think that because they are giving their money to a restaurant, they have complete run of the place. If you can't keep your kids at the table and relatively calm, there's McDonald's down the street. I am not a babysitter, and if I kick your kid because they are screwing around the kitchen doors, so be it. Not the asshole. My girlfriend is a cook, a server at a restaurant broke her leg knee or ankle I can't remember because a kid was zooming around and tripped her. She was out of work for weeks. The parent came over to her while she was crying on the ground and tore her a new one for not being more careful around her kid. Fuck parents who let their kids run wild like this. Not the asshole. 
As the parent of a small kid between 4 and 8, I say you're responsible for your kid's behavior in a public place. If you're going to a restaurant, then bring a tablet or crayons or whatever to keep your kid s occupied. You don't let them become a problem for other customers or for the staff the mom was way out of line. Not the asshole. This is a restaurant not a playground FFS. When I was younger and used to try to crawl under my own family's table my mom would give me shit and tell me that this isn't a playground and that the floors are dirty and I shouldn't be putting my hands on the ground when I'm about to eat. Not at all, kids especially need to be taught proper public behavior. That parent shouldn't have given you shit for not managing her own child. Not the asshole. OMG. Isn't little Johnny cute? With his pizza sauce cheesy hand all up your pant leg that's just so precious let me get my camera. Parents that let their kids do that shit in restaurants super suck. If it's a sit down place, sit them tf down, if only for the safety of the restaurant staff. If you want them to run around, go to Chuck E. Cheese or Dave Buster's. Those parents sound like gross, entitled assholes. You wouldn't have had to say anything to their little snowflake if they were properly parenting them. Not the asshole. Not the asshole I would have apologized and kept my kids seated. If they want to let their children run amok, they need to stay home. And yes, I have children. Sometimes it isn't the day to eat out as a parent. Not the asshole. The kid needed telling and the parents were passive at best. Not the asshole. I hate when people don't know the difference between a playground and pizzeria. My kid at age 4 actually told off a kid at the same age for running round daft, that kid went to his mum with chocked face and told his mum, mum you didn't tell me I couldn't play here why didn't you know? And I never seen a mum clear out faster after that. Not the asshole. You are not the babysitter nor the entertainment. Not the asshole. It's always the shitty parents who get mad when people don't let their kids do whatever they want. Not the asshole if the parents don't want their kids scolded by strangers, they should keep their children under control. Not the asshole parents shitty kids act like that because they have no home training. Kid could have been kicked in the face while under the table, then what? The restaurant should have thrown them out and the parents need the hell slapped out of them. Not the asshole parents like this are the worst. Not the asshole mom of four small kids here. If your kids aren't under control enough to sit at the table and be moderately quiet do not take them out to a restaurant or the movies. Other people are paying for that experience and your kids aren't allowed to ruin that just cause they're small. Wait until they're older and can handle themselves more. Not the asshole. What kind of negligent mother sits drinking and chatting while her brats crawl up strangers' legs? Not the asshole. Everyone saying you suck is delusional. When you are paying to eat somewhere and suddenly someone is touching your legs from under your table, it's going to be hard not to say something. It's not like you went out of your way to scold the kid or you were specifically targeting the child. You were shocked that someone was touching you from under the table. Those parents are assholes, and they are raising little assholes. Not the asshole. It's not a playground. You parented that kid more than his own mother. Your question explained it perfectly. Tell her to place the kids under her f ing table. You have no problem with that. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Entitled slacker parenting is making our society very unpleasant. Not the asshole. I'd have kicked the fucker. Not the asshole. How dare I yell at her kid, who was just playing. FFS, restaurants aren't playgrounds. Grocery stores are not playgrounds. Not everywhere is a playground and just because you bring a child, it won't make it damn playground. Parents like that set very little boundaries for their children and probably never say no. So of course the kid is going to freak out when they are being told no for the first time in their life. Not the asshole. Someone needs to yell at the little brat, and the parents obviously weren't going to do it. Not the asshole. Someone finally told the brat no and they couldn't handle it. 
They found out the hard way that if they don't say or do something then someone else will and too bad so sad that they don't like the results. Not the asshole. I don't care if you were at Chuck E. Cheese, parents need to control their kids. Not the asshole. That kid could have gotten hurt, being under a stranger's table without them knowing. Not the asshole. I have an 8 year old and I would be mortified and totally apologetic if she behaved that way. We've been taking our kids to appropriate restaurants their whole lives, but we always discuss how to behave before, during and after. This parent learned what happens when their kids meet people outside their safe space. I mean, it's totally normal for kids to be reprimanded by strangers when they cross boundaries and that's not only okay, it is necessary. When parents don't want that drama, they can prevent that. Still, I find it weird that she didn't explain to her kid what happened there. Not the asshole. Funny how the same people who say it takes a village when they want a free babysitter, don't like it when the village actually starts parenting their kids. Not the asshole. The kid is not the asshole. But the parents are not only assholes, but extremely irresponsible dangerous parents. That kid could have been injured or worse. A creep could see those kids and easily take them and I doubt the parents would notice. It's remarkable to me how people have kids and don't bother parenting them, instead making their children everyone else's responsibility. The greatest day of my career as a server was when I was turning away from a table after dropping off their food and absolutely leveled some hollering little kid sprinting down the aisle with the food tray. He went down and I just stepped over him and told him there was no running allowed in the restaurant. Does that make me a bad person? Probably. Was it incredibly satisfying? Absolutely. Not the asshole. Parents that don't parent are the worst. Not the asshole a restaurant is not an appropriate place for kids to play. Not the asshole, and that kid is so lucky you didn't accidentally kick them in the face if an unexpected hand suddenly touched my leg under the table like that my instinct would have been to kick out at it and probably jump and yelp in surprise. Like, I like kids, I want kids, I dote on my niece, but seriously, some parents are ridiculous and need to actually parent their children. Not the asshole. I was at a Brazilian steakhouse once and parents were letting their children run rampant despite the fact that there were servers with giant slabs of meat and huge carving knives constantly walking around. Not the asshole. I am not interested in being entertained but other people's spawn. I tolerate children, I don't like them, and if you want to let your kids run free, take them to a park. Not the asshole. If she doesn't want her precious child being yelled at by strangers then she needs to teach her precious child to not invade strangers' spaces. Not the asshole. If one of my kids did this I would be mortified. These parents have no desire to discipline their children. Not the asshole it's okay for the parents to enjoy their evening not having to worry about their children but you can't enjoy yours because you have to be bothered with them. That's not okay in any book and what if you were a creeper and took that kid right out the door? Not saying you are but parents need to wake up and take responsibility. WTF. Not the asshole. The parent ignoring their kids shitty behaviors are the R. Uh, and I'm a mum. Not the asshole. I bet they thought since it wasn't a fancy place it was okay and I hate that, broke ass dirt poor people deserve a peaceful meal too. Even at fucking McDonald's or Waffle House your kids need to act right. That's why there are McDonald playlands. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Kid is lucky they just got screamed. Something touching my leg and I would have kicked. Not the asshole and you handled it better than I would have. Something touches me without warning under a table, my first reaction would have been a swift kick at whatever it was. Not the asshole honestly that kid is just lucky your first reaction wasn't to kick. Not the asshole. You snapped because you were startled. But parents tend to get cranky when anyone says their kid is doing something wrong they are not looking after the kid well enough. What parent lets their kid play by crawling around a restaurant? 
their hands on the floor, not to mention the risk of being stepped on or having something dropped on them. Speaking as a parent of four, absolutely not the asshole. I cannot imagine allowing my kids to run amok in a restaurant that way, let alone paying so little attention that I'd let my toddler crawl under someone else's table not only is that incredibly disrespectful of your space, it is just negligent parenting. Like what's to stop a predator from just walking off with your kid while you're not paying attention?